I'm getting, I'm getting mad. I'm getting mad. Bet. I gotta stop crying. I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> I'm, I'm, oh my god, I'm fucking crying. I'm fucking crying. It's fine. It's I'm watching Grey's Anatomy. You guys, don't be surprised. Don't be surprised. I'm watching Grey's Anatomy. Don't be surprised. This whole video is about Grey's Anatomy. Don't be surprised. Blair Wardorf. I'm coming for you, bitch. I am coming for you. This is like, I go to school in Manhattan. My parents are both lawyers. And white privilege is for me. Hi, my name is Lydia. Welcome to Lydia Docs. This is my kind of character commentary series where I legit take characters of a show, some usually one or sometimes the whole cast, and kind of just comment about it and how I feel about it. Sometimes I do like these sort of character analysis. Sometimes I just analyze um, kind of the reception of the character and how he was, he was received with the audience. <laughs> That's basically it. Um, what have I done? So the, last, the latest two videos I've posted out on this um, series in the comment, commentary series has been about Nate Jacobs as well as Steve Harrington. So if you want to look at that, um, I also do these like Wednesday kind of vlog type style where it's just like me ranting or just talking or just doing random things. My latest one of that one was ranting about Miss Ronai capitalism while making apple crisp, and then my other one before that was decluttering my room while watching Grey's Anatomy. Now. <laughs> Here's my Instagram. Here's my TikTok. I'm gonna. These are gonna be the two main social. You're gonna find me mainly on those two right now. Um, I have a Twitter. I don't really use it. I legit just retweet stuff and fangirl about Harry Styles. So if you want to look at that, that's fine. But I'm just warning you. There's not gonna be anything. There's not gonna be much substance there. You can go somewhere else for that. Um, this video is gonna be. Oh, this video is gonna be a doozy. So I recommend that you get a snack. If you are a fan of Grey's Anatomy, we need it. We need, we have some discussions. Before I will disclaim this right now, I'm basically gonna be commenting. I want to say between season one to ten because let's face it. After that, the writing went to trash, absolute trash. So I've decided that the show ended at season ten, and that's it. I don't. I don't. I make the rules. It's my channel. I can do whatever, I got, whatever the fuck I want. I've decided that's what's gonna happen. It's no season t after season ten, maybe. Maybe season 14? Nah, nah. I'm lying to myself. I'm lying to you. No, obviously season 10 it was done. So get a snack, sit down, get cozy because this is gonna be a long video. But yeah, let's get into it. I hope my camera doesn't turn off on me. It's been doing that lately. What a piece of shit. I love you. I'm legit looking at her. I don't know why I'm personifying my camera right now, but I'm very worried that like I'm, I'm talking trash about her and she's just gonna turn off. Like, love you. So this was supposed to be a more chill video. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't do too much research on the topic at hand um, before shooting this, which is something I usually do with my character um, commentaries. However, because I feel like I've, I've legit watched the show since I've been 14 years old, I've watched every season, I wanna say every season up to season 10 at least five times, like, like from start to finish. Um, my mom, my mom legit used to watch it when we were younger, and then like I remember on Thursday night she had TV in her room and she would watch it, and then she would she would like she would like kick us out, but I could always hear it, and I knew like I understood like I, I remember like I remember it, I remember watching it like the scene I remember specifically was when um, I think season three finale where uh, Meredith like drowns. I remember that vividly. I remember my mom watching that and being like, "What's going on with the show?" Meredith had her issues. But um, no, I, I love, love Grey's Anatomy since I've been 14 years old. I remember, just a little <laughs> little tangent about how much I love the show. Um, I remember I had this English binder and back in the day my favorite candy was Starburst. So I would collect all the wrappers and the front page of my, uh, my binder was just Starburst wrappers. And when you opened it, it had um, one of Meredith quotes. Listen, the show has some amazing quotes. But I don't know why this one resonated with me, but the quote where she's basically begging, this is after um, Madison comes back in town, and she's basically like, hey, let's try to make this work, and Meredith is like, at first, like, oh, I don't care, but now she, then at the end, she's like, no, you know what, I want you to pick me, choose me, love me. I don't know why that quote resonated with me, but I loved it. It was legit, word for word, you opened it up and it was right there. Um, 
my first email so not like usually I, my first email was like my first and last name but my first email you know when everybody has like a kind of like a, <laughs> a stupid email when they make when they're younger just because they're stupid <laughs> um I my first email was um did you say it which was a quote when Georgia on the episode of season five when Georgia Malley died and Georgia Malley at the time was my absolute favorite character that has changed a little bit and you guys will hear about this but was my absolute favorite character and basically the quote was basically like did you say it did you basically did you say what you need to say before because you never know when the person might die or this person you might not see this person again so say what you want to say <sighs> i if i think about it i can probably recite the whole quote i'm not doing it i'm gonna put it on the screen though because anyways that was a long ass tangent just to say that i love the show so much so i watched the show many times um i'm essentially gonna be going through the characters my thing is i'm gonna be going through i want to see like the main five so magic so if you know meredith alex george izzy and christina i'm gonna go through each of them and i'm gonna also bring up a, a couple other um characters that do i feel like are very very likable this is once again this is my biased opinion however i will take into consideration how they were written as well as the reception of these characters because there's some characters that like i'm not a huge fan of them but i know are very very well liked per se so that's also something but like i'm not gonna go into like a deep dive of like character analysis like i did like on my Nate jacobs video this is more of just like my opinion about these characters how shauna fucked them up and just some like flaws i've noticed with them so it's gonna be more of like just a sit down like i said get some popcorn get comfortable because i'm gonna i'm about to lay it out <laughs> So we're gonna start off with M is for Meredith. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing right now. M is for Meredith. So Meredith is a character. Listen, I don't know what Ellen Pompey's relationship is with Shonda, but she is the best character. She's the best written character on the show. By far. Every this like it's to the point where everybody I can and I feel like I've talked to other Grey's Anatomy fans. They, everybody's just rooting for her no matter what she does and she has done some mistakes but we're still rooting for her and for shauna to have written a character that we are rooting for no matter what very hard i find especially in this um i just find lately it's very hard to like a, a female uh, protagonist of a show like the main character of a, of a show that's especially she's a female you don't see it often you don't see them being such um you don't see them being well like as much as they're like like meredith gray meredith gray is intelligent compassion loyal and i like the fact that she's also like dark and twisted right like she has her trauma and it's made her a darker person but because she's she's lived through this trauma it's actually made her more of an empathic person as well which i think is also like why she even though it's hard like to get in with her she kind of always roots for the underdog so anybody who she finds is going to be the underdog who's usually like shunned out by society she's going to take into her, her like she's going to take into her wing and like make them flourish and i think that she doesn't do well with people who have like people who have like the stereotypical or who perceive to be like having their life together there's a part of her that kind of resents it you can see this a lot with like lexi or even maggie i would say any of her sisters really <laughs> even amelia like because they, they perceive to have like such easy life i think amelia is a different situation so that's a different that's a whole other can of worms but i would say for lexi and especially for lexi and maggie because they got like this perfect cookie cutter life she's like why should i like eat? i don't owe you anything why should i be nice to you but then with with, Ale with alex she was i think she from the get-go she was pretty like nice to alex she was always kind of rooting for him like i remember the scene where she was helping him out, out with his um one of his boards tests even though everybody in the hospital was hating him because you know he did the whole thing with olivia and george that was a mess and then he had he had cheated on izzy so that was a mess and christina i feel like christina and alex haven't didn't really bond until season four season five is when i felt like christina and alex had a bomb actually i would say after george and izzy were gone at the show i felt like the three of them honestly was i love that dynamic between christina um alex and meredith that trio was just really good for me i don't know why i just loved it but because meredith is such because yeah, she, she so she empathizes with these dark and twisty people i, I should say so even the episode where she was um empathizing with i think it was he was a murderer he killed his wife he killed like six women and she still went to goes to his um he essentially got the death penalty and she still went to i don't know what that's called when they essentially like 
when when somebody gets a difficulty and you're able to watch, which I think is sadistic, <laughs> but that's like, whew, not gonna get into my politics about that. But she was there and she was crying, and then Derek was like, oh, 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 oh you know, oh fuck, I hate Derek. <laughs> We're not gonna get into it, but anyways, I think the fact that she has such a well reception has a lot to do with that. And I will say, every time that Meredith does something that I think for me I would say the main reason why I love her is her loyalty like if you get Meredith Grey on your side she will she will she will take a bullet for you <laughs> we've seen that with, 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 with Derek she will lie for you she will even like potentially go to prison for you which once again she has like there's been times where I'm like girl you're about to go to prison if you get caught for doing this and she's like like she is ride or die like and I think her moral ethics are just they're, like to her it's just like what she believes is right and she just kind of goes with her gut and her instincts and because of that we i think we we can relate to her a lot more because like you know you've just been in a situation where like this is not right but i'm gonna go with my gut and my gut is telling me to do this and that's what makes it root for us like her instincts are just always like stellar so yeah i and then it's weird because like out of all the characters on the show i mean obviously there's some characters were like over time they're the development has just crashed and burned. Shonda has just... I think Shonda can't focus on this many characters on the show. That's why like, she's, she's just like... It's too many fucking no, like little pins on, on plot points. She's forgetting shit. But for Meredith, because Meredith's the main character, she seems to remember... She seems to be developing her very, very well. Till this day. Like, I'm still seeing, like, like the other day, like... That was it last season where I saw, like, one of her scenes where she basically confronted the guy who... Had, was this one of the surgeons that operated on Derek and she basically gave him a heart attack that was trending people were like loving her like people love Meredith Grey so I think those are those will be aspects of why people love Meredith Grey but yeah I will also say um the fact that here's the thing I'm I apologize if I sound a little bitter when speaking about Derek because I <laughs> I'm trying not to get <laughs> I do not like Derek. I do not like Derek. I'm gonna make a whole video of like characters from Grey's Anatomy that have the worst development that are just, I can't stand them. Once again, it's not gonna be based off, it's gonna be based a little bit based on how they're written, but I'm gonna try not to, it's probably not based on like reception because I know some of these characters are well liked. Like I know people love Derek. Don't know why. Honestly, believe that Meredith should've been with Finn. Meredith should've been with Finn. I'm gonna say it. Meredith should've been with Finn. I don't wanna hear it. I fucking hate. <laughs> I do not like murder. Mur First of all, their ship name sounds like murder. Murder. Yeah. Anyways. <sighs> Sorry, I went off like a huge ass tangent. I don't like the fact that since season one, Meredith was tied to Derek. Like every every part of her development was tied to Derek. Like she was not her own person. Like she started the show meeting Derek and she, until he died, she was attached to his hip. My favorite quote from Grey's Anatomy is when Christina was leaving and she basically told um, Meredith like, you, he's, he's shiny and sparkly, but he's not the sun, you are. You need to stop revolving your life around him. And I was like, Christina, I have a, I, Christina is a true ass friend. And she knows what the fuck she's talking about. And I'm so glad that they kicked him off the show. And like I cry because like, you know, obviously like the way that they killed him, well, the way he died was sad and all the things like that. But like the more I thought about it, the more I was like, no, I'm glad he's gone. I said it. I said it and I'm gonna say it again. I'm glad he's gone. She became such a better character. Like I said, I haven't watched I'm gonna be honest, I haven't watched the latest season, but I've watched like I watched episode with Alex um when, when Alex left gonna get to that and then um also i know what's going on with richard as well so i don't like the main plot points but i haven't sat down and watched it but i still think that meredith's still one of the best characters on the show i still but and then it's because she no longer has to tie to derek and i will say every time they bring up like flashbacks of like derek and like the fact that he's not gonna be able to be a father to zola and bailey and ooh, what's the last i forgot the last person but the fact that he's not gonna be able to like to be a parent anymore i think that's what's more heartbreaking the fact that he's dead i'm I said what I said, I said what I said, I said what I said, don't at me, I don't care, I don't care. I said what I said. So I'm really, really glad that, and the show is still doing well without him, because I, I think people were worried, like, because like Merida was a, a core aspect of the show, don't know fucking why they were terrible, but I'm gonna do this thing where I basically 
tell you my favorite moments for this character and then want your opinions about it so you can tell me what's your favorite moment about this, what's said character so for Meredith Grey I find any, anytime she does anything that's very loyal um, to somebody I just find it heartwarming so that whole thing she did for Richard and Adele like when she basically like um, with the Alzheimer's trial like, I don't know why season 8 for some reason just like resonates with me and I think it's because when I started watching um, Grey's Anatomy they were airing season 8 so I would legit be like try to catch up to it but then like I would like my mom would still be watching season 8 so I would go in the room and be like oh what's going on here and I knew what was gonna happen and stuff like that but it still was like I don't know season 8 just it has such a like I remember like very specific details of season 8 for some reason I don't know but yeah any, any moment when she's like doing something really iconic I find it like ugh, this girl has a death wish like I, I can't speak about Meredith Grey without mentioning that I she has a death wish this girl and it's not even her fault like, because the show is written to like this 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 show is written so every every fucking season finale is a fucking tragedy that's happening to these characters like I can't anyways I just she I always feel like she just kind of gives it like especially the earlier season she had this like I there was a lot of ideations about suicide like I like I don't think idealization ideal ideation is the right word but she there's there, there was definitely a lot of like she was like she was she was tip she was like tiptoeing around like suicide a lot and just giving up a lot but it was it was confronted like I know she went to get therapy I don't know what season one she gets she wants to go to get therapy for it and then even like the fact that she had her best friend operate on her her dead dead or her she had her best friend operate on her husband that was on the table with a gun like like point a gunshot a gunshot and then she was just kind of like don't stop Christina like please and the thing is like the, I think the reason why I'm like even though I don't agree with that scene because that was like my, that scene I was like you're really gonna let your best friend die for this piece of shit because I don't like Derek but, <laughs> but also I know if it was reversed like if it was Owen or Burke on that table Meredith would have done it Meredith, is, uh, Meredith would have done it and I think that's why I was okay with her pushing Christina even though it fucked up Christina I think that's why I was kind of like okay because I know if this, this if the situation was reversed Meredith would be on like what even like she'd be like just shoot, shoot me I'm gonna keep going I'm gonna keep going she wouldn't even care but yeah that was an iconic moment um or I would say like my, that was like the worst thing she's did in the, sh in the series that was the worst and when she slept with George because that was her but even then that wasn't that bad like that was bad but it wasn't as bad as like you know having your best friend operate your husband while he's on the table like and when you're, while you're a gunshot like that was pretty bad yeah yeah I'm trying to think but yeah I can't think of a specific iconic moment well like when she yelled at like the surgeon who uh who killed Derek iconic iconic um but let me know what's your favorite Meredith um Grey moment in the in this comment section we're moving on we're moving on that's enough about Meredith all right now we gotta go moving on to Alex <sighs> Alex oh my god wow we love we love to see a man stride like we Alex had the best, one of the best character development, and so Shonda decided to take that and throw it all away. Throw it all away, like it's fuck. Like mm. she just decided. Like I've seen the latest episodes. I know what she's done. I for mm, I. Ooh, mm, mm, mm. I, I, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it because I am mad. Remember, we're only going to talk about Alex's development all the way from season 10 because everything else is trash. Trash. So, Alex Karev and Bailey says this twice in the series. Did she say it more? Maybe she said it more. She says it twice in the series. The odds of Alex Karev becoming such a successful doctor with the fucking life he did is a fucking one in a billion chance and everybody needs to know that everybody needs to know that he had a heron addict father who beat him he was tossed to foster home after foster home his mother was schizophrenic he had to take care of her he had to take care of his siblings as well his brother one of his brother was also diagnosed with schizophrenia after he almost killed his younger sister his one of his first girlfriends she was basically had like kind of like this body dysmorphia thing where she had to be admitted to a psych ward. His other girlfriend, Izzy Trash. Oh, oh, who said that? Who said that? Izzy basically 
fucking left him after he did everything in his power to make the marriage work. And the fact that he, he didn't become he didn't become just a just a surgeon, he became a pediatric surgeon. Like he takes care of kids, y'all. Mmm. I we love it. We love to see it. We love to see it. Truly. 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 Ah. Uh beginning of the seasons like the first two seasons it was definitely like George Izzy married her from Christina and he was kind of like the like the lone like the black sheep that was kind of like shunned out of the group and then I love the fact how basically I, I, Meredith was the first one to ex to basically extend the olive branch the only reason why Izzy did it too is because she was fucking with, like she was in love with them and she that was a whole fucking thing where they were breaking up and then getting back together and breaking up that was the only reason okay Meredith did it out of her own fucking will out of she just she, Meredith just did it because she was nice and also I will say Meredith, Christina and Billy are the only three up to season 10 are the only three women he doesn't sleep with what does that tell you what does that tell you hmm that's a flaw. I don't know why, but <laughs> I'm just saying. He, ba ba Bailey's basically his mother, and Christina and Meredith are basically his sister. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Anyways, Meredith extends an olive branch to him, and it essentially invites him into the group. And I would say after the whole Danny Duquette thing. Oh God. Once again, I apologize. Some of these characters, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna feel it right here. How much it states on these characters? Like I cannot. Okay. Danny Duquette though. Love him love him but Daddy Duquette after that whole ordeal they basically like let him into the group because I remember before they wouldn't even let him sit at the table like at lunch and then all of a sudden by season three he was hanging with them making jokes with them on bets with them um I do don't I don't like the fact that like we, we don't see I, I mentioned this before we don't really see him and Christina bond until like later seasons when it was just the like, three of them but still loved it still loved it I love that thin dynamic I think listen listen <laughs> Shonda is great at writing like friendship characters like is really really good at writing these friendships from female and male characters and then she fucking ruins it e proof izzy and george what the fuck was that i'm not i gotta i'm gonna put a pin in that because best friendship on the show until you had them sleep together what what next 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 mark and callie arguably the best the best like top tier Top tier, top tier male and female friendship in the whole show. They were sleeping together, they had a baby together, and they were still ride or die for each other. I, I need, the, I, why can't every, I, and I get maybe that's because it's like a certain dynamic with them, and that's, they were very, both of them were really okay with casual sex, but you couldn't, next, moving on, moving on, Jackson and April, oh, I'm getting, I'm getting mad. I'm getting mad. Bet. I gotta stop crying. I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> I'm, I'm, oh my god, I'm fucking crying. I'm fucking crying. Jackson and April. Oh, fuck, hold on. Give me a second. Give me a second, because I am not about to do this right now. Okay. 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 <laughs> Wow. 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 I'm already crying. I'm already crying. Okay. I just, I legit, I'm not even kidding. Like, I get emotional when I talk about Grey's Anatomy. Jackson and April could have had so much potential, but you decided to make them marry each other, which is fine. Like, people were shipping it anyways. But then you decided to fucking ruin it, Shonda. You fucking, that ship was one of the best ships on the show, arguably. Are, like and it was the only it was the only fucking it was the only fucking friendship that you actually made into a couple that that turned out well and then you fucking ruined it we don't talk about teddy and owen because that's that's fucking usury at the fucking max i cannot stand owen and how he treated teddy that is not friendship that's fucking like manipulation to the max i i don't don't she fucking ruined that they could have been the best friends turn to best couple and you ruined it. You ruined it with the bullshit. I They could have worked out the miscarriage. They could have worked it out. Alright. Sorry. Next next best next female female and male friendship. Alex and Meredith. I 
ride or die, ride or die. Do you remember that scene where like, oh, what was her name? The girl that like I just did the surgery on, Derek came over to the house and like Meredith was having a breakdown. She went in the room and like Alex legit just like like went with her in the room and just like sits like let her cry. Like, like remember, remember when Remember when Alex almost went to prison and Meredith was like looking for him all day and it turns out he was sleeping in her bed? Remember? 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 <laughs> remember? Remember when Alex fucked up with the Alzheimer's thing? Alzheimer's child and almost ratted out and uh, almost ratted out. Oh, he did rat out Meredith, but then but then made up for it by making this whole show that Zola was sick just so she wouldn't get in trouble with the social worker. Name a more iconic friendship. Name it. No, name it. Oh wait. No, name it. I want to hear. That's what I thought. Oh god. Seriously, some of the best female male friendships, and all of them are fucking ruined. Who else? Who else had a really good male and female friendship in the show? Uh, it doesn't matter. This is a, oh, and Billy and Richard. Billy and Richard. But that's they're like they're like they're like work husband and wives. Um. So yeah, that's that's a good one too. But they're like mom and dad. They're mom and dad at the hospital. But everybody. Those were the top five. Sorry, I went on a tangent. This was supposed to be. This was supposed to be about Alex, and I went on a huge ass tangent. I don't care because, fuck, fuck. We were we were robbed. We were robbed. I'm. I will will always be mad about because I the thing about Callie and Mark, even though Mark is one of my favorite characters, I'm okay with the way he died. I am not okay with what happened with Jackson in April. I will never be okay with what like I. Hoo, 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 hoo. We're moving on. We're moving on. Anyways, the, that's Alex. Alex is amazing. The, such amazing development. I did. Okay, listen. The fact that he was able to fall in love so many times, great for Alex. But why is he falling in love with these women that just are not it? Izzy left him, and then listen. Okay. Okay. I don't like Joe. I don't like Joe. I don't like Joe. Don't at me. Don't at me. I don't like Joe. I tried. I. And no, I tried. No, I don't want to hear it. I tried. I have that whole that whole ragtail of interns. Joe and Stephanie, I are the only one who were left, and Stephanie fucking fucked off. All of a sudden, she didn't want to be a doctor. Okay. Um. So Stephanie was my favorite, and I, I really tried with Joe because I liked their friendship. And then um. No, no, I can't with Joe. Sometimes she just she didn't deserve it. She didn't deserve what happened to her. And no, she did not deserve like a lot Joe, Joe's been through it Joe's been through it but she annoys me she annoys me I said it I said it I just don't like how they fucking but I will say I just yeah I just don't like how they fucking like by season 13 they were f Alex was fucking up left and right like he beat Alex Alex after 10 years would beat up the Luca really that's consistent that's consistent I get it like as human beings you make mistakes and you know growth is not always you know linear and stuff like that and blah 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 but that was a pretty that's a pretty big fuck up that's a pretty big regression between what the person he is supposed to be that was like that was something that that season two alex would do not even not even i'm i've said my piece i've said my piece but i will say arizona meredith and bailey well bailey before were the only three women that were like broader that legit were like we got you we will go to jail for you i mean arizona sometimes was, it was a like, tough love like arizona was like i love because arizona was almost like that older sister that was like listen you piece of shit i don't like arizona as a character but sometimes she like just i love her and alex's friendship like because it was very much like older sister younger brother loved it loved that okay i gotta move on i gotta move on oh god Editing this video. Editing this video is gonna take forever. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. Okay, next, next. <laughs> All right, where are we at, George? Oh, 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 God. I don't want to talk about it. Can we skip George? <laughs> so I think I mentioned this. George was one of my favorite characters. Was one of my favorite characters. He's I arguably still one of my favorite characters, except they didn't fucking give him a plot in season five. What was he doing in season five? No, really. I running around doing what? He's going to the army now? Whatever, Shonda. Okay, Shonda. Waste, waste, 
waste <laughs> waste of a character waste of a character and the thing is i knew that george was gonna die because my mom had spoiled it for me and my mom was a huge george fan as well i think everybody was a huge george fan um so i my mom told me so i i was gonna i knew what was gonna happen but the thing is by season five because he had no fucking plot in season five you were like oh he's gonna die okay it's fine because we haven't seen him in like five episodes so like i didn't even have time to like they, like they slowly like phased him out of the show and when he died you were like oh fuck you're right he's still on the show shauna what are you doing what are you doing what did he have in season five he was like what lexi he, him, lexi he, like he, like lexi had a crush on him that's it that's i that's all what else what else happened in season five no really we were getting hints that he wants to become a trump. Oh, he filled his boards. No, that was season four, right? Trash. So, George as a character, amazing, amazing. He was a he's a really good character. Um, George as a, as a character is a really good character in the in the context of a friendship. And then you put him in relationships, and oh my God, this boy can't do relationships like Olivia train wreck. The whole thing with Callie, the whole thing with Callie, and the reason why it fucking worked out is because he would always use Callie as a fucking emotional crutch. Like he would legit, like something, something terrible would happen in his life, like Meredith sleeping with him, and he would find Callie, and he because he was craving that attention, he just like stuck to uh, uh, Callie. Same thing when his father's died, you know, he was. Listen, that whole relationship was fucked up anyways. Like, it was not working. And then they had his dad die. And instead of being like... Instead of giving him a moment of clarity, be like, you know what? I don't love Callie. He was like, no, I do love her. And marries her at Vegas or some shit like that. I'm like, excuse me, this doesn't make any sense. He is not in a position to be making these decisions. Izzy said this. Izzy said this. And yes, like, I have my... I don't fucking like Izzy. But when it came to George, most of the time she was right. Except, oh, I thought, I'm not going to talk about Izzy because I got to... We're gonna get to that. We're gonna get to that in a second. So, anyways, he's always in like he's he's basically using Callie as like an emotional rebound. Like I, I, that whole relationship was messed. Then there was the whole thing with Lexi, which had a crush on him, and he didn't even know. And I was like, in what world, Shonda, this Lexi and George? Thing, like, do you think that that's gonna be a, that's gonna make sense? In what world? I just want to know. I just want to know. Okay, whatever. Like, like whatever. Okay, fine, fine. Um, really liked his relationship with Bailey. Oh, that was like what, like when he died, and like Bailey basically wanted to know where every one of his organs were going. Like she named her child. Like her middle, her her child's middle name is is George. Like heartbreaking, heartbreaking. I can't. I'm. I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. That was amazing. He had a really good relationship with Richard as well. He had a really good relationship with Burke, but like, we you know, Offset, that was a dream, right? <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, he had a good relationship with all the black actors. Mm. <laughs> Anyways, Georgian relationships, trash. That, and that whole thing with Izzy. That was basically them trying to get the views up. Like the ratings were going, were slowing down and they were like, oh, how can we spice it up? Let's have him cheat on his wife with his best friend. <sighs> wow, the writing. The writing was going to ship, like was already starting to go to ship. Like you were already seeing hints of it. And I think the best season was like, she, like she was, it was going through the decline and then season six happened. And the shooting season was fucking good. I don't want to hear it. It was fucking good. But then after that, it started going back to shit again. Like, when we got to the plane crash, I was like, I don't want to hear this anymore. I don't want to hear this anymore. Anyways. Oh, sorry. Iconic moments for Alex. Um, that whole scene um, with the kids, where he brought all the kids from Africa. And anytime he was interacting with a kid. Anytime he was interacting with a kid. Precious gold. Um, iconic moment for George. There's one, I swear. Oh, oh, um, elevator. Elevator, when he did a, the thing with the elevator, I don't remember what happened, but him and Alex did some surgery in the elevator. Alex shook it out, and then George was able to do it. Oh, Bailey and George, that scene where she's giving birth, and he does, she doesn't want to do it because her husband's in surgery, and he basically, like, is like, you can do it. Oh, we, a sweetie. 
a sweetie. You tell me you hated George and I don't believe you. I don't believe you. Like I said, he's not great in relationships and that fucking bullshit she pulled, she, you know, she pulled with them in season three or season four, was ri fucking ridiculous, but I don't want to hear it. You hate George, you're, you're a sinner. I don't care. I don't care. Where are we at? Are we at Izzy? Oh no, we're at Izzy. Izzy, I have a lot of problems with Izzy, okay? Here's the thing. I honestly feel like Izzy wanted to be like Bailey. Bailey is a very pro, like, cause Bailey, I would say, has very good relationships with her patients, is, you know, gets attached to your patient, but still is no point to put her foot down and is very firm. Izzy wanted to be that, except she didn't have any backbone for it, so she just got personable with her, with her patient, and then that was it. That was it. That, oh, I'm sorry. That was it. I was legit sitting there like, you're gonna cut a dude's alibi wire and then just completely like shut down like that? No, that's fine. I just wanna know. I, that whole, the way, the whole way she handled Danny's situation. <sighs> Trash. Try, I don't like Izzy. I don't like Izzy. And I try to like Izzy. The only thing I like about Izzy is how she was with George until they fucking ruined that up. China, why do you ruin everything? I don't know. Anyways, they fucking ruined that. But the, I, before that whole shit happened, like, it, like, Izzy's just a type, she just whines. She just whines. Like, what she does is that she legit, like, she, like, at first, like, the beginning of the season, she would literally whine about how, like, oh, Meredith and Christina are best friends. They didn't leave me out. And then, <laughs> and then when she became best friends with George, she was like, oh, George, why are you with Kelly? You're not even with Kelly. Wait, 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 wait. I mean, she was right, but, like, why are you whining about it? Like, a lot of times I was like, why are you whining about it all the time? Like, I get, I get why Kelly was jealous. Like, I, I would be too, I'd be like, why is your best friend always whining about me? Why? Why? Like, and then that whole thing with Alex, listen, listen, like, like, Izzy will make up her mind on something and just like go with it. And it's like, people are like, everybody in the fucking show was like, no, Izzy, don't do this. And she's like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it because I want to. And they're like, Izzy, don't do it. She's like, ah, I'm going to do it. And I'm like, Denny, uh, the whole, the wedding thing where she basically left, like, everybody's like, don't leave Alex. Like, he can handle it. And she's like, he can't handle it. I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave. And I'm like, okay, Izzy. Okay. I didn't like Izzy. Fuck. <laughs> I don't want to try to hate on Izzy too much because there were some parts about it. There were some, like, there were some great aspects about it that I like. I didn't, I guess she was supposed to be, like, the moral, kind of, like, the moral conscious of the show. So she was supposed to be, like, the more sensible one compared to, like, Izzy was supposed to be more of a contrast compared to Christina and Meredith, even though I find that Meredith was a lot more empathetic than Izzy. Iz Izzy was really bad at holding grudges. Don't know if you noticed that, but she was pretty bad at it. The only grudge she managed to let go was like the whole thing with uh, Alex. And that, and then look, look what she did. She fucking trashed on that too, so. Trash, trash. Most iconic moments for Izzy. <laughs> I'm like, Josh, most iconic moments for Izzy. Um, um, there was that scene. There was that scene. Mm -hmm. You know, it was kind of cool how she would, like, because she, she had a baby and stuff like that, and then she had given up her baby, and she had basically, there was a patient that came in, and she was like, you need to give up your baby because you can't, you're not, you can't be taking care of your baby, you're smart, whatever, you have a whole life to get to. So, like, at first I was really mad about that because she overstepped, but then I was like, oh, okay, I guess it was right of her to do that. That's it. I don't have much to say about Izzy. I've said what I said about Izzy. Christina. Christina's reception, I would say, I feel like to this day is one of the stronger ones. I, I honestly feel like Alex, Meredith, and, and Christina have the best reception. I could be lying. I could be lying. Maybe I'm just, I'm lying. I'm lying. I don't know. I made up that up. I made that up on my ass. I made it up. Anyways, um, Christina. I love Christina. I love how Christina became more human as the show went on. I love that quote that Richard tells her. Basically, this is when after the alibi wire happened and they were all getting interrogated and she was she was saying like, oh, 
a year ago I would be able to tell you who who did it, but now I can't. And then she was like, "How do you get? How do you get rid of that like human in you?" And he was like, "I I don't want to hear. Like I want to. I'm not gonna be responsible responsible for you not be, becoming less human." And she was just crying, and I loved it. Christina just I love the fact that she because she came in the show being like, "Oh, like I only want surgeries." I honestly believe that this is. I honestly believe that if she had like, honestly if. I feel like she only became friends with George, Izzy, and Alex because of Meredith. Because I think she would just been like honestly, I don't think Christina really cared for them until like later on. Like you could tell she was like, yeah, what is Meredith doing? Okay, I don't care about you guys. Like, <laughs> like that's how it was. Like I see why Izzy felt left out. I mean, Izzy obviously means she's always whining about it, but I can see why she felt left out. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, because Christina did not care for them as much as she cared for Meredith. No way she didn't. Whereas like Meredith, you could tell I see she kind of divided up that love uh, equally I, I would say Christina would, did not care did not care now I will say something else I didn't like about Christina or something that I found out was from Christina is that the show is pretty dated so I, I, I don't know if I should be saying this but I found that she did a lot of the whole thing and I mentioned this in my decluttering declutter my room we'll talk about Grey's Anatomy video she does a lot of this thing where she um oh she like it's like really anti-feminist well she'll basically put another woman down because whatever reason if a woman is said she like is proud of her looks or anything like that or does or does a career based off her look like like pageants um christina will ridicule her and kind of put herself up being like oh i'm like not not like an other girls i'm different and like back in the day we all did it like we were, you know in high school you were like oh i'm not like the popular girl i'm different like i'm different whatever whatever like christina would do that a lot and that was like very like it's and, that's, and the more I noticed I'm like you're gonna put a woman down and put yourself up based on intelligence even though it's very anti-feminist to just put a woman down based off what she wants to do like if she, somebody wants to become a beauty pageant that's her choice do not ridicule her and put yourself up because of that like I did not like that once again it's a dated show like this show in like 2005 2004 so it's a dated show but still I was like I do not like how that happened um also Christina what is right you and your choice in men every relationship she was in i was like this is trash i feel like she was just like the like for example her and brooke the only thing they had in common was the fact that they were heart surgeons but they were both too self they were both honestly too selfish to be relationships but christina does a thing where she attaches herself to people that like are honestly not good for her or use it to her and then when they leave she has like a breakdown because she thinks that she needs them because like, she got so attached and i'm like christina you do not need them you're an amazing surgeon you do not need any of these guys to make you better and i think she realized that i want to say like the last two seasons she went on the show i don't think she was dating anybody i think she was divorcing owen and that was it and i think that's that's when we saw her like that's when we saw her like strive strive and she then what she said and that's when she realized too and that's why she said that fucking thing about um Derek when she left because she realized it too she's like man I've been letting these guys carry me down the whole thing with Owen waste of my time and the thing is like I was never invested in any of her relationships like never with Burke never with Owen none none I couldn't care less I couldn't care less I was like give me Christina on her own or don't give me Christina I didn't care I don't care I don't care her and Owen were a wreck Owen is on my list okay Owen's on my list of people that just need to i the way he treats teddy is disgusting the way he treats every woman on the show is fucking disgusting every relationship he's been on the show i am like owen get fucking help and even if after he got help he's still fucking trash i don't oh god i need to stop i'm yelling i'm yelling i'm yelling christina you're the son you don't deserve this like it's legit what Ella says to Meredith Grey, like, Christina's extraordinary and she's with people that make her ordinary. And it's just sad. Most iconic, most iconic moment for Christina, uh, most iconic moment for Christina Yang. Oh, there's a lot. Box in the heart. When she fucking was operating on Derek's heart while held at gunpoint there's a lot i'm i'll y'all write in the comments who have seen that moment because she has a lot and i love her love her next
that's my opinion um the top five on magic crew i'm gonna go a little bit over like some other characters i think were just really well written and just i'm just gonna go over my other favorite characters in the show i'm gonna be honest um uh, mark sloan best development best fucking development mark sloan was an asshole and he became this amazing character who was like he was all about wanting a family and taking responsibility and oh amazing his friendship with Callie was amazing I don't want to hear it I don't care what you think about it it was amazing I love how they were so open about being like being sexual with each other I love how even though it was rough him and Arizona started to get along oh wow wow mm. so it's next Richard Richard was so good oh my god Richard, listen, I just remember what it was. If you, listen, Shauna, this is a person, this is a personal message to you. If you give that man Alzheimer's or dementia, I will, I will pers, I can't even say it. I'm trash. I'm saying like, I'm going to stop watching the show. She's like, Shauna's like, what are you going to do? Stop watching the show? Shauna knows we're trash. I'm sorry. You know I'm trash. I'm going to keep watching the show. I'm fucking lying to myself. I'm, I don't know why I fucking lie like this. I don't know why I fucking lie like this. I want to see. I'm gonna keep watching the show. Well, I'm gonna keep watching the show. But please do not give Richard Alzheimer's or dementia. Like, Mary Gray will not be able to handle this. Like, her father figure is getting in. Like, I. Mm -mm. Fuck. Anyways, Richard's father of the hospital. Love him. I love. I love how they portrayed his alcoholism. It was very real. Wow. Shonda actually wrote another character that was okay. Miracles happen, eh? Um, Bailey. Bailey. Oh fucking god. Billy was good until like until they made her chief. Yeah, I said what I said. She was good until they made her chief and she got power hungry and she started doing this. And I get it, like a first black woman chief. She was the first chief, the first woman chief of the hospital um, that was black as well. I think or was Catherine at one point. I don't care. Catherine's trash. Catherine's trash. I don't want to hear it. She is. She legit thought. You know she's trash because she legit thought when. Richard was going on about he was clearly having an episode of something. She thought he was drunk. She thought he was drunk. Trash. Catherine, trash. Throw her in the dumpster. Throw her in the dumpster. I don't care. I don't care. Mer 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 uh, sorry. Billy was great. Billy was great until they fucking made her chief. She was. I love the OCD thing she dated with her. That was great. That showed like. like I love that. I love when. Oh, that whole thing with. Iconic scene. That whole thing with Charles, that whole thing with Charles, which he, that, I will say, best season, shooting, best episode, shooting episode, oh yeah, hands down, that was a trip, I was, I had never been so fucking anxious watching a TV show in my entire life as I've been watching that, 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 that those two episodes, never, oh, Addison, I don't want to hear it, I don't want to hear it, Addison, yeah, Addison, I honestly believe they should have kept her on Grey's Anatomy a little longer before they gave her her own spinoff and they should have like had her like slump but get back up because I could not stand Wanya Addison. I could not stand Wanya Addison but then when she was on it, like Addison was on it. I would, I honestly, I kind of go back and forth with my favorite characters but my top three are definitely like Meredith, Addison, and Mark and it's like, it's like George, Alex. I think it's my top five. I could be... That it changes every time I watch a series. I find something else. I find something else. Um, but I think it was my top. Anyways, okay, I'm gonna cut off this video. I will make a video about my f hated characters on Grey's Anatomy. If y'all wanna watch that, I'm gonna tell you right now who they are. No, I'm not. I'm gonna keep it a secret. But y'all, if y'all watch the whole video, y'all will know. Favorite episode? I think I said was yeah, the shooting one. Worst episode? Musical. The musical. I. I didn't watch. I didn't. I did not start watching Grey's Anatomy to be dealt with a fucking musical. I did not need it. Keep it, Shauna. Keep your creative ideas because you clearly don't have any more. So keep them. I don't want to hear them anymore. I need you guys to like this video, please. I need you guys to comment. Yeah, comment an eye roll emoji and a favorite scene ever if you've watched the show. If you're caught up like me, and share this video if you like it. Once again, here's my Instagram, here's my TikTok, and here's my Twitter. I'm not gonna really be on Twitter, but if you guys just wanna see me ramble out here styles, be my guest. Y'all can do it. Subscribe if you like my face. I post on Wednesdays and Sundays, but I will see you guys later. Bye. Bitch, I'm a cow. Bitch, I'm a cow. I'm not a cat. I don't say now. Bitch, I'm a cow. Bitch,